What's going on guys? It's a beautiful Thursday afternoon and I'm taking a look at this 19 STI and deciding if I should pull mods off of it to use for my 2017 STI. This car is not very heavily modified, but it's got some parts that I'd like on my 17 and the plan is just to sell this one. So mods don't make a ton of difference. Minor mods, I should say, don't make a ton of difference on price, but we would be pulling off this intake. I have the factory intake for it. The turbo inlet, we've got the factory turbo inlet. It's got a Cobb downpipe. I'd be putting a factory downpipe back on. I've got one of those. We'd be pulling off the E85 flex fuel kit, the Cobb fuel pressure sensor, and it also has some injector dynamics, 1050 CC injectors. So I'd be pulling all that stuff off and I would definitely have to get a retune for it, obviously. But I'd like to use all those things on my 17 and we're gonna be selling this one. So I think I might do that. It'd be a little bit of extra work but it would save me some money, which we like. So I think that's the plan with this 19. I have a line on a motor for the 17 STI and EJ 20X when I'm not sure from a very reputable importer, a shop local to me has done a bunch of EJ 20X swaps and I'm going through the importer that they use. So I know that it will hopefully be a good motor and then we can get this guy running as i have previously said in all videos i need to get going on these projects i feel like i'm at like a big stumped stopping point because all the things i have to do are big projects or i'm stumped on it potential modification part out not the whole chassis needs a motor needs a motor green outback needs a motor black outback i've been battling for a long time i'm being really repetitive with you guys so i need to actually get some stuff done and i think i should just knock out this 17 sti so i can sell the 19 sti and get that one out of the way that is currently my day daily driver so i need to make sure i have all the stock parts that i want to put back on it before i tear it apart I could drive my truck, but I don't like driving that if I don't have to. So I'm going to look, make sure I have all my stock parts. We'll get the motor on the way for the 17, and then we might start tearing apart the 19. <laughs> the customer that purchased the blue STI shell, he is picking it up tomorrow. So we are gonna get that loaded from the boat trailer onto the car trailer. So from there to there so that he can drag it onto his trailer. We need to move my brother's truck out of the barn and do a transfer with the lift onto the car trailer. It's kind of a whole process, but I'll just probably time-lapse most of it. But I figured I would record my brother's truck starting up because it sounds pretty good. So I'm not really into old trucks, but this truck does sound good. My forester that I use to move trailers and push cars around is leaking a bunch of trans fluid and I don't want to fix it right now. So I'm just going to use my truck and we'll get the, get the blue shell in here on the trailer, get it back set up on the lift. Then I will explain what we're doing from there and then I'll just time lapse the rest of it because it's not too interesting and it takes a while. So actually I've got to pull seats out of it before I get it up on the lift just to make it easier. So, but I got to pull seats, cluster, a few other things out of it and then we can get it on the left. All right, we are pulling seats, cluster, steering wheel, a few other random things like I said. Let's get these out of here. Then we'll get her loaded up and thankfully we'll have another shell out of the way and we gotta keep working on getting other cars out of the way because I got too many cars and they're all big projects, unfortunately. So, time lapse.
up on the lift. So now we're grabbing the car trailer. Gonna pull this boat one out of here and I'll explain it from then. Time lapse the rest of it. We'll be good to go for Saturday. All right, I'm gonna back the trailer up all the way to right here. Then I set the rear of the car onto the trailer and my winch, the battery on the winch is dead right now. So I might use a come along that I've got, but I set the rear end on the trailer. Then I pick up the front end with my cherry picker, which is not a big deal because there's nothing in it. So it's super light. The cherry picker I think holds like a thousand pounds, 2000 pounds. So it's not a big deal at all because it's super light in the front. Then I'll either winch it or come along it the rest of the way on, and that'll be it. I've done it a few times. If they're just junk shells that are going to the scrapyard, I'll just drag them on from the boat trailer. But since somebody's buying this one, I'm going to do it the nicer way so that it doesn't get any damage or anything like that. But yeah, I'll set this up on time lapse and talk to you afterwards. Just like that, we've got it all loaded up. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Went really well. Hopefully it goes just as smoothly getting it onto his trailer. But yeah, it was easier than I remembered, which is good. I just pulled it with the come along and I had ratchet straps. I used these to protect the ratchet strap so it didn't get cut. But I had a ratchet strap through each strut tower down to the frame, frame, strut tower. And then right in the middle, I hooked up the cherry picker. Did its job. I gotta pull the steering linkage and the slave cylinder and we are done with this one tomorrow which will be tomorrow is saturday you guys will probably see this video sunday if you are watching it thank you please like the video and subscribe helps me out a bunch but sunday will be the day after the customer picks it up but hopefully everything went smoothly or hopefully everything goes smoothly and yeah now we just got some random junk to do and it's friday so we're gonna chillax this evening somebody's picking up this seat for free and then we got to swap out some seats from the white car to the silver car put some of these in the white car and we're done so if you guys are watching this thank you very much please subscribe please like the video i hope your projects are going well i hope you're doing well in life i hope to see you guys in the next one